Welcome to the Algebra Final Review. This is Standard 2. This is an extra for Part 1, so I'm not sure what to call it, but I used more time than I, than I needed, or used more time than I had. And so we're going to go continue where we left off. Um, remember that there are some special cases. If I'm solving for a variable, either in an equality or inequality, and I get something that's always true, see the x, is, the x has disappeared, or the variable has, but I get a statement at the end that's always true. 4 is less than 10. That's always true. In that case, any number is going to work. Your, your answer is basically going to be every number. Sometimes I'll get an answer, the variable disappear, and it's never true. 8 is never less than 1. And so in that case, we know that there's really no solution to this problem. Now let's go and do some of the examples off your off your review guide. I'm going to have to do a little low-tech magic here real quick. Okay, I think I've got it to stop for a moment. Okay, I need to solve this and the variable is on both sides and so I need to do a little bit of math to do that. On this one, I'm going to add a half of an M. I'm going to see, what, what's another way to write one half that it'll work with three-fourths? Know that I can use some fraction knowledge or change them to a decimal. So I think I might just change them to a decimal. I'm going to say this is less than or equal to 0.5M plus 6. And this side is negative 6 plus 0.75M. Okay. Now I'm going to move this over. I'm going to move my variables over here. I'm going to subtract 0.5m, just like I would if this was an equation. That's 0. So I get negative 6 plus 0.25m is less than or equal to 6. Okay, add 6 to both sides. And I'll get... 0.25m is less, oh that's zero, less than or equal to 12. Divide both sides by 0.25, number on my variable, and I'm going to get m is less than or equal to 0.25, I believe that is 4, no, it's 3. Let me do it on the calculator though, just for to make sure 12 divided by 0.25. Oh, I'm sorry, I did it completely wrong. It's 48. Good thing to check on the calculator. So 0.25, 12 divided by 0.25 is 48. And so when I draw my number line, it's gonna save me some work. I'm gonna say 47, 48, 49, 50. I know the break point is on 48. It's going to be filled in because it is a um, or equal to. Let's try the numbers here. 47 is less than or equal to 48. Well, that seems true. 49 is less than or equal to 48. That seems false. So I'm going to draw the arrow the direction that it is true. Okay. Now, next one. Let's see if we can have some fun with this one. Okay, subtract 2y from both sides. And I'm going to get... Oh, they disappear. So 0 and 0, so this is just going to be 6, is greater than 2. Remember our special cases. Is this something that is true always, or is it not always true? Well, 6 is always greater than true than uh, 2. I know that the variable has disappeared, so I will say that this is all numbers. If I were to draw a number line, there's no break point. It would just literally be like that, going across. Okay, that is the end of part 1, and we'll go ahead and start part 2 on another video.